Nigeria's economic management team is optimistic about a near end to the prevailing hardship in the country. The Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wale Edun, insists the present economic situation is far better than what the Tinubu government inherited on the 29th of May, 2023. National Assembly correspondent Joki Adisa reports. So that we can cite the relevant... This is the second in the series of the sectoral debates put together by the House of Representatives to deepen its constitutional oversight on the executive since the removal of subsidy on petrol in May 2023. We must all confront the stark reality of the economic, fiscal, and revenue challenges that our beloved nation, Nigeria, is currently facing. The economic management team takes the stand to brief the legislators on efforts ongoing to save the Naira and regain its declining value and also slow down the rising cost of living. When you attack food production, raise food production, you bring down uh, the price of food, you bring down inflation, you get a chance to bring down interest rates, and there lies the road to investment. The budget provided more money, both on nominal and in real, in, in real terms, than has ever been provided in the priority sectors. With over $800 million in volume of transactions at Monday this week, the CBN governor says there is light at the end of the tunnel. A lot of the rating agencies have rated Nigeria positive. They've moved from being stable to positive. And that is a very, very good sign indeed. The chairman of Federal Inland Revenue Service also added his voice to efforts at ensuring adequate resources accrue in government coffers. We have the target for this year, based on the approved budget, to collect 19.2 uh, trillion, uh, which is uh, 7.2 trillion more than what we actually collected this year. A barrage of questions follow the team's presentations as legislators ask to know how efforts have been translated to tangible impact in the lives of the people. The common man just wants to hear when rice prices will come back to 30,000 below. The value of Naira has progressively declined from a state of concern to a state of fear and panic. But the value of other currencies across Africa have been largely stable. How do we reconcile their realities? After about five hours, the deputy speaker highlights the takeaways from the session. Happy hearing about the investment in LNG. I'm happy hearing about the railway, especially the one you mentioned, Calabar area and all. This is it's very important for you to go through the whole country. Hopes are rekindled just as expectations are high with the words of assurance coming from President Bola Tinumbo's economic team of an imminent reprieve. Joke Edsa, TVC News, Abuja. Let's talk some more about the economy and CEO Lead Network, Chukuma Okenwa, joins us on the news. Mr. Okenwa, earlier we are talking about, uh, you know, of course, the reassurance coming from the nation's economic management team. And then, you know, looking at what was said, what the Minister of Finance said about the present economic situation being far better than what the Tinubu government met in May of 2023. How did you receive that? Well, I, I, I quite disagree um, on two grounds. Uh, but of course, I, I want to also say that his position uh, is not misguided. Uh, so let me start with what perhaps may have informed his position is that when you want to look at economics, you look at it from a broader sense, in the sense that practically what citizens are saying is, oh, the dollar is fast rising against the Naira. But in the real terms, when the CBN was backing up the dollars and all the rest, I mean, the, the, the Naira against the dollar, was it really like the real value of the Naira? Were there like a possibility that it was overvalued, which was of course the case. So when you leave the, the Naira to land flow on its own value, that's what, what's the, the, the current effect that we see in the economy. So, but in terms of the reality now that is done on Nigeria, because we have to match records with reality, the impact on the average Nigerian is untold. 
So yes, in terms of economic dynamics, we could appreciate that now Naira has provided its value and given some of these policies, if there is that political will, you know, to fix some of the things that has been outlined by the government, more investment into LNG, more investment into, into agriculture, enhancing food production, then of course the citizens can begin to feel the impact. But at the moment, the layman on the street can only assess the economy based on the direct impact on him. And that's what Nigerians are looking at and they are crying out to Mr. President and the economic team for some forms of quick fixes to see how, like, uh, especially as it has to do with the inflationary rates, could be brought to control. Mm, all right. And then it does appear really that the removal of subsidy on petrol, you know, somewhat fuels the instability of the economy, but it's been hailed as a very necessary measure for government to take to stabilize the economy. Uh, what's your position on this? Well, my position, I mean, uh, the, the removal of subsidy has been long overdue, uh, though what was reasonably expected would be uh, that it's better done by fixing our refineries. Uh, but then Mr. President also quickly weighed in and, uh, and promised that is going to ensure that all the refineries, you know, starting with the one of Port Harcourt, functioned optimally by last December. And we are still hoping to see all of that work out. And I, I believe that if we can enhance our refining capacity as a nation, certainly it's going to, like, you know, uh, uh, tell a different story entirely from like, where we have to, like, depend almost uh, over 90 percent of the, the fuel that we use domestically to be imported. And that's also, like, further straining on, on, on our forex earnings. So I think the government needs to look into that urgently, fix our refining capacity as against uh, just the removal of subsidy so mm. that all of the sufferings will not be on the citizens. Mm. And as it stands, you know, fuel queues are back in some places. And, uh, you know, earlier you talked about uh, refineries. Do you think what we actually need is to fix the existing refineries with their production capacity? Or should we look forward to... Uh, maybe setting up new ones, uh, perhaps modular refineries to shore up you know, what we can actually uh, make available to Nigerians? Well, so my recommendation would be let's fix existing ones. Uh, let's also explore the option of modular refineries. And most importantly, uh, now that we have the Dangote refinery, uh, we shouldn't let the Dangote refinery source for crude oil from other destinations, but also ensure that it's functioning to its full capacity. You know, at the moment, still very much so functioning uh, 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 less than 50% of its capacity. But I believe that this can do more, and all of it will add to the success story of Nigeria where we begin to sell more of the refined products and not the crude version. CEO Leads Network, Chukwu Maokenwa, thank you for talking to us on TVC News at 1.